Hi everyone and welcome to Triple N Sounds YouTube channel. My name is Nikki and I'm a nail art specialist. In today's video I'm gonna show you how you can fix your broken nail at home. Right now is a really weird time. Everyone is under quarantine because of the coronavirus. Your nail tech is probably not working and you may break your nails especially with the whole washing your hands all the time thing. You're just this is just bound to happen. As you can see it already happened to me and I broke my pinky nail. The materials that we're going to use today are a nail file, nail glue, tea bag, scissors and a top coat. I currently have gel polish on my natural nails so I'm going to start off by taking the file and buffing off the shiny layer on the top. If you're doing this directly on your natural nails you can take a cotton pot, soak it in acetone and scrub your nail with it to remove the oils. Or you can use a file as I'm doing in the video, just be careful and gentle with your natural nail. You just want to slightly buff and scratch the surface rather than file it. When filing you can start at the cuticle area as it's gonna be easier and then move on to the broken bit. Just be careful to file in the direction of the break rather than the opposite direction because you don't want to completely break your nail. Now that your whole nail is buffed, you can take the nail glue and apply it on top of the whole nail. Then press down on your broken bit in order to glue it back to the actual nail. You want to have some glue in the space between your broken nail and your nail plate so that when you push them together, they actually stick in place. Hold that down for a few seconds to make sure that it's completely dry. You can usually see if the glue is dry by checking if it's shiny. Take your tea bag and cut it into small pieces. At first we want to cut a square that is big enough for a whole nail. One or two parts of it, you're gonna cut them in even smaller pieces. The smaller pieces are easier to play around with and stick to the nail. You're gonna apply the glue on top of the broken bit and place your first tee back on top. Make sure that the first piece you put on is covering the whole crack. Then apply glue on top of that. Make sure that the glue is not touching your skin or if it is, wipe it off. Before the glue is completely dry, apply another layer of the tea bag. Try to cover a different area this time. So with the last piece we were doing a horizontal stick, whereas this time we're going to do a vertical one. It's really important that the tea bags are reaching the end of the nail. Then again apply glue on top of the nail. Now because this piece didn't glue correctly and it's sticking out, I'm just going to use my file to smooth it down. I'm also filing the edges to make sure that they're smooth and the tea bag doesn't go beyond them. I'm just wiping off the dust using acetone. Now I'm applying another layer of glue on top of the whole nail. I'm taking another piece and gluing it on the other side of the nail. I've seen other videos recommend the tea bag technique, but their mistake is that they're putting just one layer of tea bag. 
Now, in my opinion and from my experience, this is not going to work. You have to put a few layers, you have to build an apex. One tea bag is just not going to hold your whole crack. Tea bag works because it kind of looks like the professionals use of silk wraps. Silk wraps are pieces of fabrics that are wrapped around the nail and are used to make it stronger. They were really popular treatment in the 80s, but then the acrylics came around and the silk wraps kind of faded away. The reasons they are strong is because of the fibers inside. Something similar is happening in the tea bag. So if we just layer it, it's kind of creating the same effect. We also want to use a few pieces of the fabric because we want to create an illusion of the apex. An apex is usually the highest point of an extension. It is placed in the weakest point of the nail to give it strength and balance. And this usually sits in the back one third of the nail enhancement. Now some of the pieces that you're going to place on your nail are probably going to be harder to place than others. Uh, usually the smaller you make them, the easier it's going to be to place them, but you don't want to make them really small, so they at least need to cover, let's say, a fourth of your nail. You're also going to have to add some pieces on the back of the nail as well, not just on the crack. Add a final layer of glue and wait for it to completely dry. Some glues say that they dry in 10 seconds, but just to make sure, you can wait a few minutes. I waited 5 minutes. Then you're gonna take your nail file and start filing the nail. We're gonna file down the length. The shorter that you make your nail, the harder it will be to break it. Now start filing the side walls and the top to make it smooth. Make sure that you're actually not over filing and you leave the pieces of fabric inside the nail. Wipe off the dust with acetone to see the result. If you're happy with how it looks, you can just put a top coat and you're done. In my case, I decided that it's a bit cloudy because my tea bag wasn't completely clear. So I've decided to put a red nail polish on top of it. You can use nail polish or gel polish, it is totally up to you and whatever you have at home. If you use gel polish, this is usually stronger than nail polish and it's gonna last longer. But again, if you don't have it, it's fine, you can just use a nail polish as I did. When painting the nail, make sure that you're reaching the cuticle but not touching your skin. And you also paint the side walls and the free edge as well. This is to ensure that you seal all the parts that can actually chip. I applied my second coat of color and waited 5 minutes for it to dry. Then I applied my top coat and make sure that it's completely covering the whole nail, including the free edge and the side walls, and that it's nice and smooth. As you can see, this is the final result. I know for some of you this may look a bit thick, but believe me, it's better to be thick and not broken, rather than to, you know, break it off again. We have a correct apex placed, and the nail looks like it's gonna be really strong. All the side walls are completely smooth and covered in polish. And this is the result after 10 days of wearing the nail. It is really strong, I haven't had any problems with it, it's not cracked anywhere. It still looks really good, I just decided to take it off and redo my nails for Easter. But other than that, I'm really happy with the result and I hope this helped you as well. If you have any questions or problems, feel free to message me 
My Instagram is at triple M salon and I'm always there to help you. If you want to support my work and see more videos like that, hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!